everybody. It's Carrie here. I'm with um, Jen and we are diving in, starting up our healing summer series. We're recording this right at the start of summer. Um, last week, my kids are in school. I think the same for you, Jen. And yep, yeah, next, it's just next week. Yeah, it's just exciting. Um, I, I love summertime. I haven't always loved summertime with my kids when they were younger, <laughs> to be honest, but I'm really looking forward to it, you know, as they get older. Sure. Um, and, and I um, grow too, you know, um, so I, I really- Where's the vacation, Carrie? Yes. Yes. <laughs> our kids, our husbands, um, yep. those around us are always part of our sanctification. So I'm really thankful for that. Right. Um, but you know, just as part of this summer series, um, we wanted to just, uh, bring you some, some maybe different topics over th that were more, um, applicable to your season that you're in, of course. Um, but we really wanted to start it off with the episode, this episode, just talking about rest because summer is a time when maybe there's not as many routines and as many things pressing that you have to do. Maybe, um, even if you still have to go to work and your kids might be at home, there's still a little bit of a different, you know, uh, I guess way that you look at this season of summer and it is more of a relaxed season, but we weren't, we really wanted to just dive into this topic because I think there is physical rest, but there's also other types of rest that you, you know, we're, we're encouraging you to be intentional about. Yes. Yeah. That's a good point. You know, when you say summer slowing down, I think maybe in our head, we're slowing down, but physically we might be ramping up a little, right? We might be hiking more, camping yeah. more outside. We're, you know, doing more sports type activities. Um, but our mind is free, right? When we're doing those things, we're usually with our family or yeah. we're not concentrated on work or things that we have to do. So, mm -hmm. you know, it's really a, a mental and maybe an emotional slowdown, hopefully. Yeah. Um, and I think it's, as we talked about in the last episode, was it the last episode where we talked about rest really being active? You have okay. to be intentional, right? About yeah. taking that mental rest. For sure. And it, and it makes me think about how there are different um, areas that we rest in. Like, obviously there's physical rest, there's um, emotional, social creative, mental, spiritual, like there are a lot of different types of rest and areas that we maybe need to rest in, if that makes sense. Maybe just take a step back from, um, not that they're not all good things, but I think it is important to take a break, a true break and a true rest from some things that require a lot of us. Um, and I think oftentimes we don't really, maybe it's not that we don't think about them. Maybe it's just that we're we don't realize the importance perhaps because we just, we have just, it's like we spend our time juggling all these things and we're just, it's kind of our norm. And so right. again, uh, I think that we are called to a lot of different areas that, you know, God wants us to serve in and, and, you know, yeah. lift each other up and all the things, but you still need to take a, a rest from that so that you can come back filled up. This is more about filling up than just taking a physical rest, if that makes sense. And yeah. Amen. I, I think sometimes I fight against, I feel like sometimes in the summer, the tendency is to just kind of get busy in the sense of, you know, everybody signing up for camps and they're doing yeah. a, and they're doing B and they're doing C and you're like, Oh yeah, we should do this. And we should do this. And we should do this. Yeah. And I have to consciously say, okay, do we really want to do this? Do we, you know, and, and even though maybe, you know, we want to do it, um, do we need to do it? Yeah. Um, or do we need the rest? Because I really think our kids need the rest too. They you know, do. they've been in school it, yeah. it's, it's, you know, socially demanding, it's academically demanding, um, and mentally demanding. And for them, I think that summertime, if you can, now I know sometimes it's not always possible yeah. you're working and you have to put mm -hmm. your kids in camp and, and I get all that. Um, but maybe, you know, maybe they get out a little early and you can get out a, a little early or you're setting time, you know, apart to just go, like I said, go hiking, go camping, you know, even just for a weekend. So maybe, yeah. you know, things that we couldn't do maybe in the winter where we would kind of fill our time because we have to be inside. Yeah, that's true. And you have to um, keep in mind, we're coming from two different areas of the U S so I live in Georgia <laughs> where it's a lot warmer year round 
and Jen lives in Ohio where it's very cold. Right. Um, and you really only get what, like three month, three or four months of, of warmer weather. Yeah. I would say May to Octo- middle of October is pretty nice. Yeah. So, you know, we're Carrie, I forgot Carrie, I'm sorry. In the summer, you guys are staying inside. <laughs> it's pretty hot. <laughs> it's very hot. <laughs> we kind of get used to it though. We don't necessarily stay inside, you know, right. Um, right. but yeah, it's hot for sure. Right. Um, I forgot. Sorry about that. So, oh, no. yeah, I mean, um, here in Ohio, we <laughs> like to be outside and yeah. resting as much as possible. Mm-hmm. Um, or, you know, physically engaged maybe because we just don't get that as much in yeah. the winter. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, but it made me, th- something you said just made me think about, um, how I I'm, I'm wanting to challenge myself in the fact of, you know, maybe, and I want to do the same for you. Like maybe your summers usually look the same. Maybe you feel like you've already got it planned out to a certain degree. Like, you know, there are things that we quote have to do, but I would just really encourage you to take take, you know, time to think about what it is that you, what, what is God calling you to do? What are you really feeling like you want to do and make time for it? And that, that does take intentionality and it might look different than it has in the past. Um, depending on what season you're in, maybe you're feeling really burnt out and you just really need to take some time away by yourself even, um, and give yourself the gift of just like a, a retreat, you know, with other people or with, um, just by yourself. Um, I remember I was actually, um, I don't know what maybe come upon this, but I was looking, maybe I was looking back at some notes or something and it, it, I was reminded of, it was actually somebody that came on and talked, um, on she works his way. They used to have like monthly workshops and it was a mom that was saying she started doing like a weekend retreat by herself. Like, I don't know if it was once a year or once a quarter, I can't remember, but she literally got a hotel room and stayed in there by herself and did all these things that brought her joy. And I get like, we can't always do that, but I do think as moms, a lot of times we do think about what brings our kids joy, but we don't really think about what we truly want to do. And I think that's important because if, if that, that is important that we, we do things that fill us up, not that it can't be with our kids, but really we need time by ourselves too to get truly filled up. Yeah. You hit the nail on the head. We have to be filled up, right. To serve our kids and our husbands and, um, taking that time away. And I know we've talked about this so many times, Carrie, but taking that time away Mm -hmm. to be filled up, to let the Lord really speak to you, to maybe allow some healing that needs to happen. Uh, Or it's just the, simply the slowing down and the rest and the reflection and the prayer that is needed to be renewed. Yeah. And, and I just think a lot of, a lot of that takes mental rest, especially like, you know, if we're constantly turned on and like, maybe you like to listen to podcasts and really learn a lot. I think that that's not a bad thing, but what I want you to think about is, are you making space to hear from the Lord? Are you making space for your mind to just rest? I think that, I think, of course, we always think about physical rest when we think about rest, but I just think now more than ever, we need mental rest because we're constantly taking in stuff. Like you just think about it. How many times are you just like silent? Like, is there just like nothing coming in? It's not much, you know? No, they were. Yeah. Sorry. Go ahead. No, you go. No, I I was saying there, I was just, I don't remember. I think I was listening to a podcast, actually listening about how much information that we take in nowadays. It's and crazy. the reason why people are overwhelmed or stressed or anxious is because the amount of information that's coming in through, yeah. you know, what we're listening to, what we're watching is literally overwhelming yes. at this point. And so this summer, I just, I really, I agree with you, Carrie. And from personal experience, sometimes it's hard. It's like, you think, oh, I can't afford a retreat or I, I can't, I don't have the time to be away from my kids. Who's going to take care of my kids. I think that if you commit to praying about it and God really says, this is something that's a good idea, the rest will, will fall into place. Yeah, for sure. And so again, there are, there's different, um, things that we can do for rest that kind of go to like daily, weekly, monthly, yearly, And I think that, you know, this is a season, obviously we're talking about the summer season, which really for us is only two months. I don't know how long, you know, the break is for other areas, but, um, 
you know, during that break, I really want to think about what are some fun things I can do with my kids? Obviously, we're going to go on like a family vacation and do things like that. But I also want to think about well, what do I want to do to really take that mental break? Because again, I'm still working over the summer some, I mean, you know, not as much probably, but still, still working some. So I really have found I've, I've been doing this over the last few years, but I just, this year, I really want to be intentional about maybe it's taking a week off social media and just deleting the app and, you know, giving myself a break from that. Maybe it's just, um, I'm going to dig into a certain part of the Bible and really grow spiritually. And, and maybe it's, um, that I need to get away also, right. And just have that time away from my family to pour into myself. Um, and other, maybe even other relationships. So I think it's really just goes back to intentionality and, and not just letting the time go by because time's going to go by either way, but it's like, what's God calling you to? I think if we really sat down and thought about that and was intentional about that, that's all we're asking, right? We're not saying that our way's right or, you know, your way's wrong or whatever. It's just, what is God asking you to do? And Maybe we don't even know that because we don't take a break, (laughs) you know? Yes. Truly. Yes. And just, I just want to encourage you, you don't have to do as much as you think you have to do. Yeah. I can, I can hear some of the thoughts as you were talking, Carrie, mom's, mom's thinking, I need to get this done. I, but I need Mm -hmm. to get this done. And yeah, just speaking from experience, you don't need to get as much done as you think you need to get done. Yeah, truly. And sometimes you can get, you can be more intentional about getting things done once you have taken a break. That's usually the the way it goes, right? We just have this long to-do list and we just think we can't rest until we get it done. I have a friend whose husband works very much and he really works seven days a week and decided that he really, you know, wasn't taking a Sabbath and decided to take a Sabbath on Sunday, no work at all. And, uh, she said that he was just amazed how all his work got done, Mm -hmm. even though he was taking it a whole day off and had more work, everything was getting done. Yeah. So maybe it's there, right? Maybe it's that you don't take a Sabbath. Maybe that's where you start. We're all at different places. And that's what we're encouraging you to do is just think more about it, be more intentional about it. And this is a really good season to, to do that. Maybe, um, I get that we're on different schedules, but it does allow a little bit more margin typically in the summer. It's just a little bit more relaxed to really think about what, what do you want to change and going into, you know, the next season, even um, the fall. Um, But as we're talking about this, um, we kind of hinted around at like how important a retreat is. And this would probably fall more as like the yearly, you know, things that I think about doing yearly that really, um, you know, pour into me and just like fill me up. Um, Jen and I are actually planning to do our own retreat this year for the first time. We're really excited about it. We have seen the power of, of just getting away and being with like-minded people and being poured into and how much of a difference that makes. You know, I get that we all wish we could stay in this, (laughs) um, place of like being poured into and, and being really intentional and, you know, and I get it might, it might only truly, um, last for those three days, but I think you'll see a huge difference afterwards. Um, even though, you know, you kind of go back into normal life and there's the challenges that, that are still there. You're just different. Um, maybe nothing changes other than you. And it's really all about being poured into and, you know, just so that we can pour out to others so we can be a light in the darkness. That's what we're called to do as Christians. And that's what we really want to do in this retreat. (laughs) Um, and just like, just like we talked about a lot on this podcast and that we really keep at the center of what we do at Cornerstone, we really want to address all areas of health because it matters, um, in our mission, you know, so physical, emotional, spiritual, that's what we're going to be focusing on at this retreat. You want to tell them a little bit more about it, where it is, when it is. Sure. Yes. We are so, so excited to pour into, to you who will be there. Um, we have been praying for you. We have, you have been on our heart, um, but it's going to be, um, at a lake cottage in, um, right on the lake in Lake Gary, um, where uh, just the beautiful setting where you'll have lots of downtime, but also time for obviously us to pour into just knowing more about your physical health, um, 
your emotional health, your mental health, um, and your spiritual health. And, you know, our prayer is that we can really give you some tools to address in each of those areas that would better support you year round, really right? just, mm -hmm. just things that will support your physical health. So, you know, things that we've always talked about foundational stuff, but, um, you know, also things that, you know, a lot of women, I think struggle with, you know, we just want to we want to cook you really great meals, right. Yeah. And show you how easy it is. And, um, you know, the mental, the mental breaks show you how, um, we use them for ourselves. Um, yeah, but also, you know, the, the spiritual part being in the setting, I think when we can get ourselves out of everyday life away from the distractions and, and not that our kids or our husbands are direct or distractions, but, you know, I think sometimes they, they can be in the sense that it pulls us away from maybe what God is really calling us to Right? There's good, a, 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 there's something at such as a good distraction. And I think sometimes yeah. that can be it. So we just, our intention really is to just to love on you, to teach you, to be with you, to create a community, um, mm -hmm. so that you can be better for your people back home. Yeah. Gosh, all of that makes me really excited. Can I come to this? <laughs> I'm just joking. But Yay. truly, like, I mean, who who doesn't want to be well equipped to go out and serve their family and the, the those that are around them better? Like, that's truly our goal. Um, and that looks different, right? There's different uh, parts to that. So, um, yeah, I, I love what you shared. And and we really do want to curate the um the content and the weekend around those that will be there. So we'll, we will be continuing to do that, learning more about um, those that are coming just to make sure we can serve them really well. And, um, and I'm, we're excited, you know, it's going to be small, so um, what, 10 or less, something yes. like that. Um, yes. Smaller eight, group. Actually eight, eight is okay. our max. Yeah. So a really small group, but I find that that, that group is a really good size. Um, it allows for community aspect, but also, you know, for us to really be intentional about pouring into those that are there and, and meeting you where you are. So, um, if that yes. sounds like something that you would like, um, we are going to put the link to go check out more. It's a webpage on our, um, on our website. So in that there's a, a button to purchase there, but if you have any questions at all, you can always message us. We definitely want to make sure it's a good fit for you. Yeah. And, you know, any, sure. any questions that you have, we'll be happy to answer. Yes. But Yeah. So we hope this has encouraged you, you know, really to just take note, um, spend a little bit of time thinking about the summer and ways that you can take rest in some of these different areas and then just make a plan and make it, you know, really make it a priority. I think that's what we really want to encourage you with. And we're going to have a lot more episodes to just share new things that you could, you know, maybe incorporate that would really help you. Just, you know, I just think about that Hebrews verse that, you know, it just says like, we want to run our race, but we have to throw off things that hinder. And so we can't really properly do that unless we're listening to the Lord, because he's the one that's going to lead us. That's what we're really wanting you to do is tune into him. Um, and we can't do that unless we take time, unless we really are listening and these distractions are what keep us from that. So we pray that you um, think about these things as you enter this new season and and just tune in because we have um, eight episodes as part of this um, summer series. So we hope we that you're encouraged by them. Go ahead. We love you guys and we're praying for you. Yeah. See you on the next episode.